Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Flintstones, The Surprise at Dinosaur Peak. In the last episode, we received our quest, which is to save the children by journeying all the way around the world to talk to a fire dinosaur. And it looks like we've got a long way to go, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to the jungle, as they say. Uh, if I recall correctly, I started the jungle level of the rescue of Dino and Hoppy with that line as well. And back then, I promised you that I would not start singing the song. And don't worry, I intend to keep my promise this time around as well. Uh, here's an interesting feature in this game. Some alligator springboards. For those of you playing along at home, remember to hit the A button just before you land on the crocodile's nose. Otherwise, you won't get quite the uh, proper elevation. Now, up ahead here, we've got the first mini-boss in the game. The big armadillo-type guy. Now, you could uh, spend hours and hours hitting him with your club if you really wanted to. But, really, the much easier way to <laughs> deal with him is simply to push him off of the ledge and keep going on your way. Now, uh, one other new feature of this game that I haven't mentioned yet is the inclusion of the uh, stars that you've probably seen me pick up already. But basically, each time you pick up a star, you get one more letter in the trademarked catchphrase Yabba Dabba Do down at the bottom of the screen there. And each time you collect a full Yabba Dabba Do, you get a one up. And note that you do not need to collect the letters T or M. Now, up ahead here, believe it or not, we've already reached the end of the level. And this is one of the easiest bosses you'll probably ever see. Basically, all you do is hit him with your club, jump over him when he charges at you, and repeat it twice more, and that's it. Pretty easy. And now we can pick up this mysterious red crystal. Why do we need it, you ask? Well, I'm not so sure yet, but I'm sure we'll figure that out soon enough. Alright, at this point we are faced with a decision. We can go to the right to continue on our adventure around the world, or we can go up to visit that little stadium there. If you remember in the last game, each time we went to a stadium, we got to play a basketball minigame. Well, this time around it's a little bit different. This time it's hockey. So let's check that out first. Hey, Flintstone. If you win, I'll give you something. Right, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? Let's win something. Now, as you'll probably notice very quickly, this game is very much like the basketball mini game we played last time around. The only difference is that this time we're on ice. So that translates to the controls being a little looser. But other than that, it's pretty similar. I find that uh, this one can get a little more challenging, especially the first couple of times you try it. So that's why I've worked out the little strategy that you, you've you seen me use right here. Where basically you let the guy get around you, check him from behind, and then you get a clear shot right into the goal. So if you're playing along at home, and you find that this is a little difficult, try that out and it should work out for you. If not, though, if he manages to score a goal, I find that usually the best thing to do is just to keep shooting from from a distance and hope that it just bounces into his mouth. Otherwise, well, we've run out of time, so that's okay, but oh, look at that, another half. And you know, there's only one thing that can make this more awesome than it already is, and you know what that is, don't you? That's right, Blades of Steel. Now let's just sit back and enjoy some classic sounds of one of my favorite hockey games of all time, Blades of Steel.
don't believe it. You beat me. Here's your prize. It's yours for keeps until you see game over. And there you have it. That is the hockey mini game. So at this point, I think this is a good place to stop for now. So I'll see you next time. Until then, this is the Max Cobbler saying so long and happy gaming.